how to copyright your music. If you're a rapper, a music producer, or a singer-songwriter like myself, and you're worried that someone else is going to take your music, copy it, and then make the millions off it that you deserve, well, that won't happen after you watch this video because I'm gonna show you right now how to copyright your music. I gotta put my hand up and admit it. Think I really might have blown it. Immediately when you write a song, copyright is formed right there. So if I sit down this afternoon at my kitchen table with my acoustic guitar, a piece of paper and a pencil and write a song and call it Beautiful Sunday Afternoon, I have the copyright immediately after that song is finished. So I own the copyright to Beautiful Sunday Afternoon. But because of this copyright, I don't actually have to do anything else. However, if someone goes out and writes a song called Beautiful Sunday Afternoon and it sounds basically exactly the same as my song called Beautiful Sunday Afternoon, well, I'm gonna go up to them and say, hey, you can't use that song because I wrote Beautiful Sunday Afternoon already. And they're gonna ask me, well, prove it. And I won't be able to prove it because I don't actually have an official copyright. I only have my word, my piece of paper and pencil and my memory that I did it at the kitchen table. So this is where things can get really tricky and this is where it comes down to a subjective opinion on things. Let's say you're a beginner musician and you haven't written many songs and likely the songs that you do release won't become very famous. So that's up to you whether you want to go and get an official copyright or just use the copyright that you get from writing the song. On the other hand, if you're a professional musician and the chance of your song going quite big, then you wanna have and you wanna make sure that you have an official copyright. So if someone does write the same song as you, you can have the piece of paper and the official documents that says you own the copyright and that will hold you up in court. And so if you wanna make sure to have your back covered 100%, then you need to go and pay for an official copyright. If you're not worried about it and you don't think the songs will be big, then you don't have to go and pay for an official copyright. You already own the copyright that is just made up when you write the song. So ask yourself that question. If you're okay with just owning the copyright that just exists right when you write the song, or if you want to get the official copyright. Let's say you do wanna go in that direction. Here's how you can do that. There is different copyright offices in every country, and you can go to the copyright office in your country and get the official copyright stamp of your musical composition. For example, I'm a Canadian singer songwriter and so if I want to register the official copyright to my music, I would go to the Canadian Intellectual Property Office and I can go there and pay for the copyright of my songs. If you're in the United States and you want to register the copyright of your songs, then you would go to copyright.gov and register your works there. If your country does not have a copyright office or you would prefer to register it in a different country, that's okay as well. If you're in the situation, then I would suggest going to copyright.gov and registering your work there. Let's take a look quickly how to do that. We can go to Google and type in copyright.gov and go to the US Copyright Office. Here we want to register a copyright. We don't want to record a document or research a certification. So we want to register a copyright. So we're going to click register. And then we want to go down and click this blue button, log in to the electronic copyright office. This is where you would sign in if you are already registered or sign up if you have not. If you are a new user, you can click here. For example, for me, I'm already a user, so I'm going to log in. And so this is what the dashboard of the copyright.gov site actually looks like. You can definitely see it is not very pretty, but this is where we will register our work. And so in order to register a work, go over to the right here under register work, you would put likely a standard application in. Fill out the required information, upload the song so there is a reference to them that they actually have your works, upload the lyrics, and everything else that they need for the song, pay the fee, and then right away, you are registered officially as a copyright, so that will hold you up in court. Weeks will go by, and then the US Copyright Office will send you a letter in the mail with an official stamp, and it looks quite official. So keep that in your documents. So if the day does come where someone does steal your song, or, you, or someone says you stole their song, 
you have the copyright and you are backed up in court. I've heard other musicians do the trick where they um, print a CD and then mail it to themselves and in, on the mail there's a timestamp and it hasn't been opened yet so that might be approved as an official document. No, that does not work and will not hold you up in court. That is also known as the poor man's type of copyright. I am a singer-songwriter too and so feel free to check out some of my music and to subscribe to this channel. I make videos on lessons I'm learning as a singer-songwriter that will hopefully help you along the way. So please punch the subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next video.